If you remember when we did our affirmations, we gave each word a number depending on its importance. So we're going to do longer quotes now. So pick a quote that has meaning for you. I'm going to use live gently upon this earth. And for me, I'm going to say gently is my most important word. And then earth is going to be my next most important word. And then live upon and this are all going to be at the third level. Having three levels is good. Um, more than three is, is probably too much. So you want to have like one really important word, maybe two really important words. You could have two levels. Like I could have gently and earth on one level and then live upon in this as being less important. Or I could break it down into three levels. Okay, I'm going to start with a centered layout. So the first thing I want to do is to give myself a center line. Okay, and gently is going to be my most important word. So I'm going to make it the biggest. I'm going to just stack everything centered and I'm going to use size as my hierarchy. So that will be my first word. And then I will do earth. It's my second most important word. Then I'll fit in the level three words around that. So I'm going to put live at the top and upon and this go in here. When you draw your hierarchy layout, use as much of the page as you can. It's going to be much easier to create in a successful layout and do your lettering when things are larger instead of trying to cram it into a small space. I'm using a small space so that I can get it on the camera, but ideally you want to probably use your whole page or as much of it as possible. After I drew the boxes for my layout, I trace them over in the darkest color I have so that I can see them more easily when I place another page on top. I want to be able to see them because I'm going to draw the letters here. I don't actually want to draw the letters where the boxes are, but I need the boxes. You want to start with your biggest word. For me, that's gently. And I drew gently with a pencil and it kind of follows the box, but it also goes beyond the box, which is fine. The box is simply a guideline to help you place it in the layout. I used a monoline style letter form because I'm planning to do faux calligraphy for gently. Then I draw my next biggest word, which is earth. I remember, go back to my numbers here. So earth is number two. And for earth, I just drew a very thin block letter shapes and that way I know where the letters will be, how big they are when I trace them over with the marker. Then I sketched in live and upon this. Since it's all in pencil, I can make adjustments and I think I'm going to move live down and over a little bit, which will give it a nicer relationship to upon this. So here's my finished sketch of my layout. It's in pencil, so I can just use the marker and go right over it or you could make it darker, put another page on top, you know, so hopefully you can see it, and then marker on the new page. After you've traced over your pencil and cleaned up your layout with your markers, you can slide away the page with the layout boxes, and you'll just see the lettering by itself. Since we're using lined paper, the lines do stay, and you might want to try using either tracing paper or a nice plain white sheet for your finished art. In addition to centering your words and just stacking them for your layout, you can also explore other ideas. You can put your words on an angle. You can create a puzzle-like layout where the words kind of fit together. And here I'm doing another one with the same quote, live gently upon this earth. And you can see how live and upon this sort of nest into gently. You could also have all the words the same size and use color to make one or two of them more important. 